Do you have orthostatic hypotension? In this video, you're gonna find out. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience. Orthostatic hypotension is a very common problem that very often goes undiagnosed. I find it in my office, particularly with older people, when they're lying down on the table and then they go to sit up and then boom, they're almost ready to collapse and fall down. Now, what is orthostatic hypotension? It's a condition where when you're lying down, if we took your blood pressure and then you stood up, within about three minutes, your systolic number actually drops over 20 millimeters of mercury or your diastolic drops over 10 millimeters of mercury. The problem with this is that when you stand up and your blood pressure drops, there's not enough blood getting up to your brain, so very often people will get dizzy and feel faint. That's not a good thing in a chiropractic office. It's bad advertising, right? But it's usually not from the chiropractor. It's actually because of the patient. Now, there's a couple reasons why a person could have orthostatic hypotension. The three most common are, number one, dehydration. This can happen in young people. Many young people are drinking all these stupid drinks of the energy drinks and the Red Bulls and the this and the that, and they're not drinking water. They're dehydrated. So when they go to stand up, their blood is thicker than it should be, and they actually end up getting orthostatic hypotension. Another is anemia and this is common with females, so they're losing blood and they're, you know, come up, orthostatic hypotension, boom, they go down to the ground. Another one is medications, and this is common with older people, is the blood pressure medications that they're taking are not lowering the blood pressure. What they're doing is they're artificially lowering their blood pressure. And by doing this, when they go from a lying down to standing up position, that sudden change within three minutes, their blood pressure significantly drops and they feel dizzy and faint. So if you're having orthostatic hypotension, what do you do about it? Obviously, look at the causes. If you are dehydrated, you're going to need to hydrate. If you're losing blood for some reason, blood loss or anemia or something of that nature, you need to solve that. If you're on medications that artificially lower your blood pressure, then what ends up happening is you just have to be very, very careful when you go and sit up. It's important for particularly my patients, the older ones, what we do is we have them, when they're lying down, they sit up and I'm, I'm there with them, put your hand on their shoulder and let them kind of get their bearings and then when it's time when they feel okay they can actually stand up and that's the safest way to deal with this if you thought this video was interesting give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you yourself have had orthostatic hypotension and found a way to solve it let us know in the comments section below share this on social media like facebook instagram and twitter because i'll bet you a lot of people don't know about this